In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest Forex strategy you can use as soon as today. Yes, today. And this is by far the easiest Forex strategy that I have ever used, and I actually use it on an everyday basis. Before we get started, I would appreciate if you guys could like this video. As well with that, hit the subscribe button, why not? And turn on those post notifications so you know when I am posting. Also guys, if you want a free Forex training for all my new people to my channel, check out the link in the description. I just did make one around US 30. And if you guys want to join my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I did actually open five spots for the month of November. So if you wanna join, make sure you follow me on Instagram and send me a message and let's see if you're a good fit. Now without further ado, let's get into this video and I'll show you all the juicy sauce. Today is October 31st, happy Halloween for all of you that do celebrate Halloween. I actually do not myself, but hey, I want to show you guys for Halloween, I want to give you a treat. And this is my treat from me to you. Usually what I like to do is I like to look at the higher time frames like the daily and the four hour and identify what type of trend we are in. And we can see that we already are in a very clear uptrend. We have this beautiful W pattern couple reversal candles, then we started to really push up. So overall, we are in an uptrend right now. This really did apply to last week more than this week because I, I anticipate seeing a reversal sometime soon going into these higher levels. We are very overextended, so I think we're going to see a reversal very soon here. But I want to go over last week and really show you how this all played out, how you guys could have made money every single day of the week on us 30 in this past week so let's go to the 17th on monday or the 24th actually okay so this is our monday right here and we already know like yo we're in an uptrend i'm going to just continue to go with the momentum and that's going in an upward trend so as you guys know i'm trading at the market open so as i was looking right here i was like all right we're already in an uptrend we do have a big w pattern right here but I wanted to see some type of reversal candle to give me confirmation that this was going to be a reversal right here. So if you guys do not know, let me write this out on text so you guys can see. If you see a W, that equals a buy. If you see a V, that equals, not plus, equals a buy as well, not sell. If you guys see an A, that equals a sell. If you guys see a V, that equals a sell. So what I mean by this is when we're looking at the market, there's these certain patterns that will form. And when I trade guys, I like to make it kiss, keep it stupid, simple. And I'm trading at like a third grade level. I don't like to overcomplicate things. You guys see, I'm not using the RSI. I'm using two EMAs and support and resistance really to help me identify where I'm going to go with the markets. So the same thing when I'm looking at the markets, I want to look at like the market structure. What is making sense to me? It's going to tell me it's going to be a good buy or a good sell. And guys, I didn't mean a V here. I meant a M. Sorry. So when you guys see a W, that's equal to buy. When you see a V, that's equal to buy. When you see an A, that's equal to sell. When you see an M, that's equal to a sell as well, not a buy. This video is sponsored by my program, FX University. Go to the link in the description to sign up, or there should be a link on this page. Once you go to join now, you're going to go to get started. And once you do, we're going to give you a code for 15% off. Go right here where it says to add promo code, type in FX1, and click apply. Now, what do I mean by this? When we're looking at the markets, there's all these formations right here. And this overall is a V pattern right here. This overall is an A pattern right here. So that's what I mean by these A and V and W patterns is I'm looking for the market to really form these patterns. And within these V and M and W patterns, whatever you want to tell it, whatever you guys want to say, you want to be looking for a reversal candle or like an engulfing candle. I've noticed that the reversal candles are the best or the engulfing candles are the best too. So I want to just spot this out like, Here's a nice W goes down, then up, then down. Right here on the W move or the V pattern, let's say it was just a V pattern right here. This is where we want to start looking for our reversal candle, our engulfing handle, something like that to complete the extension of the V. So what I saw on Monday right here is we had the W pattern went down, then up, then down. 
but I wanted to see some type of engulfing candle to really tell me like, yo, we're going to for sure go up. So what I did is I waited for this next candle to come out right here, the 6.30 to 6.45, and once this candle closed, I saw that this was a bullish engulfing and a bullish engulfing bearish candle like this followed by a bullish candle like this and notice how the body of this bullish candle it went higher than this body of this bearish candle telling us that this is a bullish engulfing and the same applies for a bearish engulfing this is a bearish engulfing when we have a bullish candle then followed by a bearish candle that engulfs the previous candle. So I saw this bullish engulfing and I said to, you, to myself, I was like, you know what? This is our buy right here. I'm going to buy right here, mark it open. I'm going to have my stops right below the low. And then I'm going to just target my psychological level. And that's the trade that I took here. It's like a replay so you guys can see. Entered on that candle right there. And I was like, all right, do a market execution buy. Boom, within 15 minutes caught 1,500 pips. So very clean setup right there, guys. Let me exit out of this. I'm probably going to have to go back to Monday. That's fine. Okay. So overall, I saw this W pattern right here. I was like, do you know what? Buy. We're buying. Let me wait for the engulfing candle, reversal candle. I'm going to show you more of these setups going on throughout the week. So that was Monday. And we got Tuesday right here. Once again, we can either look at this as a W pattern or we can look at this as a V pattern. But I want you to notice the market open was right here. At this candle, after this candle was the market open where I'm buying. It was a doji, but that's not phasing me. We already have two dojis. Like for it to actually be a real reversal, usually, usually I want to see like two or more dojis form. Plus I want to see it at a key point. This right here was not a key point in the market. It just wasn't making sense. So we already, before the market open, sold our V pattern already forming. And then we're just riding with the momentum. We're saying to ourselves, all right, the V pattern's there. Let's just ride it to the next psychological level, ride it to the next high right here. Very simple. Tuesday was a very good trading day, and so was Friday. I'm going to show you guys in a sec, too. Once again, what do we see? We have this W pattern right here, continuation, or we have our V pattern. Notice how the V pattern, this was Wednesday. This was a really nice setup for a Wednesday. I don't trade Wednesdays, but wow, this was a nice setup. We do, at 6.15, 6.30, have our spinning top right here. We can see that we have our engulfing candle starting to come in all right here, giving us confirmation this is a valid V pattern. Plus, we are rejecting the 31.750 psychological level. Boom, straight up target the next psychological level right here. Absolutely clockwork right there. Beautiful setup right there. Thursday, I'm not going to lie, when I'm looking at the markets, I want to be getting in the markets like around these price levels. When the market's really low, but notice how this was our market open candle right here. So I looked at this and I was like, you know what, why is there a bearish candle forming? When we're in a clear uptrend, we did just break a point of resistance, a high from the previous day why is it trying to go down? This doesn't make sense. So when I see that, I'm like, you know, I'm going to be patient, wait for a reversal candle and a golfing candle, some type of pattern to tell me it's going to go up and continue with the trend. So Thursday, I actually did get stopped out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. No reason to lie. I lost $2,000 trading on Thursday. And that's simply because these markets were a little all over the place. Like if this was 615 to 630, this candle right here, wow. That's our bullish engulfing again, bearish candle followed by bullish candle engulfing the previous candle. If this was a 615 to 630, I would have bought that trade so hard. We have our beautiful V pattern right here. It's already in an uptrend. Wow, right to the psychological level. But some days aren't going to be picture perfect. Like Thursday just wasn't the day for me. The markets were hard to identify. I remember, I remember I was talking to my business partner that I trade with, and he's like, bro, Thursday would have been my perfect day. I was like, how do you see that? So understand this. This is a really big key point for a lot of you traders. If you see other people that are taking the same trade as you, but they're winning and you're losing, that's perfectly fine. We identify the markets completely different from one another. So there might be days where you see the markets like, yo, I know for a fact it's going to shoot up here. I'm 100% confident and you're going to win that trade. 
And then other people see them like, bro, I didn't even know what was going on. Like I couldn't read the markets. That's completely fine. Stay in your lane. Focus on your chapter that you're on and stay focused. That's the best advice I can give you guys. And going into Friday, once again, we kind of did see this V pattern right here. It's not like a super clear A pattern or a super clear V pattern like this, but it's still a V pattern. So understand that it doesn't have to be a perfect V pattern every time. But once again, saw that V pattern come out. We are already right here at the market once it closed. Saw this bullish candle right here. Kind of looks like a doji, but I was like, same thing. You know what? It's not at a key point in the market. Why would it reverse? We already were breaking resistance right here. So the momentum for the market open is going to come out and really push it up. So for this day right here, bought right here, saw our V pattern, went with the market flow, targeted this previous high. Should have targeted the psychological level, but I was a little bitch. But hey, still made like four racks. That's the trade that I made four racks on on my previous video that I talked about. So if you want to know how I caught that trade, definitely check out that video. But guys, this is the simplest Forex strategy in, in the game. I'm telling you, apply this. Now is the part where you go to your chart and you look at the markets and see what I see. Go to this week. This week was October 2022. Go from the 24th to the 28th. And look at the market. See if you see what I see after watching this video. And that's the best advice that I can give you. If you guys are looking at a YouTube video, go to your charts and apply what they're teaching. Whatever you're being taught, go and apply immediately so it sticks in your mind much longer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.